Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Just a couple things before we jump in. Today we're going to be doing your pick a card reading talking about um, your gifts. So I'm not going to be, I mean, intuitively I'll pick up on like the exact types of gifts you have, but we're going to talk about like what makes you unique when connecting to source um, with connecting with other people and things like that. Um, we'll also talk a little bit about like some advice around it and just kind of see what comes out. Um, so we have pile one here, pile two and pile three. I'm going to give you a moment to take a look. You can go ahead and pause the video if you would like as well and see which one or two or three are all calling to you. Um, really quickly, I want to make a, a very fast announcement. It is really early in the morning. You can't even tell because the light, um, it's like 4.40 in the morning. Um, so I do have a monitor in the background and I hope it's not too loud. Um, it should be fine. But anyway, so this is the situation. Go ahead and take a moment to look at it and then we're going to jump right in. All right, pile number one, let's go ahead and jump in. By the way, I have a new setup. I'm sure you've noticed. Hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and get started. We have two cards for you here. Actually, I think all the decks or all the piles end up getting two. Um, I love this. I love this. I love this to start off already. So we have Archangel Raphael coming through twice. Okay, there are a lot of different Archangels inside of this Angel of Atlantis deck. Um, but we have Archangel, Archangel Raphael coming out twice with Earth Force and also Empathy. And this to me is telling me that you are very much a strong empath, okay? A very strong empath, um, as well as a healer. So you may work with energy work. Um, you don't have to. You may just in general be just a very healing being. Um, you may do readings. You may literally anything, okay? You can be a healer and do anything. You could do, um, you know, work with kids. You could work in um, as a doctor. Like there's so many different things. You could literally be a server. Like you can do anything and be a healer. Um, and this is coming to really strongly that this is a part of your mission here um, is being a healer, um, being very empathetic to people. So you definitely can feel energy um, and you're a hundred percent empath. So if you've been wondering, this is definitely coming through saying, yes, you are. Um, there's a few things I'm getting from this. So first and foremost, you're definitely able to feel um, emotions. You're able to feel things, able to feel um, people, people's emotions. You're able to feel the earth. Okay, um, this this group is also really connected to the earth. Um, so Mother Earth Gaia, um, whether you know it or not. So you're really good at manifesting. Know that. Okay, you you have mastered this earthly plane. So um, you may be someone that doesn't know that and doesn't necessarily practice manifestation, but they're coming through really strongly to remind you of your abilities to do so. Um, it's different than an average person, okay? Everyone has the ability to manifest and create the reality, but you, Pile One, you're really connected to the earth. And so you're able to manifest a lot quicker and you may see that in your life in times where things just manifest really quickly, whether you want them to or not. So this is telling you too, is as you begin to like practice, you know, the law of attraction and manifestation and things like that, being mindful of where your thoughts are going, mean being mindful of what you're visualizing and seeing and putting feeling towards because you have such a um, empathetic, like empathic, um, sorry, my nose is kind of runny today. I'm really so sorry. I'm going to try not to do that because I know it's really distracting. <laughs> anyways, I'm glad we're close enough that we could talk about this. Um, anyways, you're very like empathetic to people. Um, sometimes that can be a downfall, right? Because 
we begin to tap into everyone and everything. Um, and we have a hard time distinguishing between the two. Um, but with Archangel Raphael coming out twice here, once again, this is um, talking about that healing aspect of you. Archangel Raphael is the Archangel of healing. Um, and so uh, Archangel Raphael is walking with you on your journey and also here to help you, um, you know, really healing yourself as well as healing other people. Um, it's really such a beautiful thing. I also feel like with this pile, just intuitively, I'm picking up on that um, you see, okay, you really see things for what they are. You see clearly um, and you can like see through people. So if you're somebody who feels like you just know something is wrong with someone and you're asking them and they're like, nothing's wrong. This is your confirmation that yes, you are right. All of those times, there's always been maybe something wrong or something going on that you were tapping into that they didn't want to admit. Um, but you are definitely right in those moments. Okay. Let's see what else wants to come out here. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. We have discernment and clear vision here with the details. So that is confirmation for me that you definitely know how to, um, see you can see people um for maybe who they are or their intentions okay um it's not that you can't see like them with the eyes of love and compassion but you definitely are someone who's like you know what I can see through your crap <laughs> like I can see through your niceness or I can see through what you really want like what is it just tell me because I already know it's something about that um I do think that maybe in the past or even right now, take it how it resonates, right? Because this is for a group of people, but in the past or even now, you may struggle though with this, like with discernment. It's like you see, but you may ignore the red flags or ignore um, the signs of your intuition around people and what their true intentions are or what the intentions of um, like, your path is it's almost like you see it but it's like if it's something that you don't necessarily want to see then you'll just pretend like you don't see it okay and this could be something that you dealt with before and now you've awakened um into this understanding of like trusting your intuition and if you're still in this place of like yeah i can see but i just refuse to look working with archangel Raphael may be really helpful for you and and i want to say too like there's nothing wrong with either journey okay there's nothing better with either journey um it's just where you are right now and it's perfect the way it is um but it's important to understand that you really are seeing clearly and this could just go and stem from the fear of not being able to trust yourself or your intuition as well so it really has nothing to do with like you know being bad and not listening to the signs and things like that or not doing it in the past it's just more about um you really trusting yourself and trusting your intuition and it's just the process okay um I feel like you also really probably connect with like candles so if you don't use candles now that might be a good option for you to begin doing that um just like lighting candles um having fire flame around you and those types of things um okay let's see and was I picking up on that before fire I don't know, that was coming through. Um, something else with the fire that's coming through is <clears throat> you can block your energy field with a ring of fire, okay? So imagining fire surrounding you may really help you um, be able to see clearly the difference between your and someone else's emotions because that may be something that you struggle with at times. Um, because being an empath, it's really difficult to know you know, what are my emotions or what are others, unless we put up a clear boundary or a clear statement, a clear intention of I'm only allowing myself to feel my feelings right now, and then you can just differentiate between the two. Um, here we have the prison wave, it's self-sabotage and poverty consciousness. Um, so with this card, I'm getting a couple different things. First and foremost, you may find yourself as someone who um, beats yourself up at times. Um, 
I also feel like with this group, because empaths and healers a lot of time have this specific light about them that people will cling to. <clears throat> and sometimes it can be difficult because people will literally drain you of your energy um, so quickly, okay? And people who maybe need your light and don't realize it, like subconsciously, um, they may be really drawn to you. And in those moments, it may be really difficult for you at times to be able to like keep yourself in a place of like stability when it comes to your root chakra, okay? That's coming through really strongly, especially with poverty consciousness coming through. That's the first thing I thought of was root chakra. Um, because you're so connected and in, in like a healer and things like that, you may struggle, even though you have a strong connection with um, Mother Earth, you may struggle at times with your root chakra, which keeps you from being able to, one, fully manifest the things that you want. Um, because if our root chakra isn't balanced, then um, we will be in a place of lack because our root chakra is all about our security here on earth and our security um, around finances, you know, home stability, those types of things. Um, and so for this group, I would encourage you to really begin the um, boundaries around your energetic field emotionally, um, as well as um, working with your root chakra, because I feel like this group is really intuitive. You work really well with the higher realms. Um, and sometimes that can be a little bit, it's beautiful, but it can be difficult because um, we forget that we have to keep ourselves here on earth as well. I always say this about like water signs, specifically my sign, Pisces. Like I feel like Pisces were just the worst at this. Um, and you may have like water heavy in your chart somewhere, um, like in your top three or just like in general, you may just have a lot of water. And a lot of times what happens is it's like being in that connection and that flow and that creation in the higher chakras. It's like we forget that we have to keep ourselves here on earth as well. Um, and Pisces are very much in like that creation mode in that like other world almost. And that's where I feel like you find yourselves at times. Um, and they're saying that if you really begin to work on your root chakra, you're going to be able to manifest even quicker because that creation mode is already happening. And once you ground yourself here, then those things can be pulled down into this reality as well. <clears throat> I also think that it's important, pile number one, that you are grounding yourself um, before connecting. Um, meditation is probably really going to serve you. Um, you may feel though sometimes that um, you don't feel like you're getting messages or signs or things like that. Um, and it may just because be because you're not grounded um, and you're not able to fully like get um, the messages through because everything else is kind of going a million miles an hour. I just dropped the card. Let's see what this one is. Okay, interesting. All right, so we have the hungry ghost here. It says obsession, scarcity consciousness, and attachment. Okay. So what this is telling me, group one, is that with your specific gifts, like I was catching up on or picking up on earlier, um, people attach themselves to you, um, whether you want them to or not, okay? And I don't feel that they're doing this like with ill intention. Like I don't think that they're consciously aware of the energy sucking that they're doing. <laughs> um, but it's definitely happening. There's one or two people in your life right now, pile one, um, that are really, really, really attached to your energy. Um, and I feel that this is physically. And if it's not physically, like if you're like, I can't think of anyone who's like, draining me, um, then it definitely could be people from the past as well. Um, so it could be someone that you're not speaking to anymore that you're still having like thoughts about or anger for or things like that. Um, and if it's not that, then it definitely is people in your life. There's at least two people in your life that are like draining your energy. It feels like here with the scarcity consciousness, these people um, may be asleep. Um, meaning like they just aren't aware of what they're doing or aware of the way that like they're acting. Okay. I don't think that they're consciously meaning to do this. Um, but with the scarcity consciousness, this very much feels like 
there's some of those people that have like that victim mentality or that mentality of like um constantly using you as a therapist that's what I'm getting um and in those moments like you have to put up boundaries whether that's like verbally or whether that is um energetically okay um so know that okay and you have such a special light it's such a special gift um and when we are kind of in this place of like learning this and understanding this um it really begins to open doors that we haven't noticed, right? So if you weren't aware of this, or if this is a major confirmation for you, um, then you may really start to see the manifestations of this stuff playing out in your reality. These cards keep falling, which is like quite annoying. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... I can see here, we have a lot of air energy. So you may be someone that's a little bit in your head at times. Um, and I truly think that like, which also makes sense with that self-sabotage um, coming through. I think that what happens is you start to feel some type of way, one about the way people are feeling um, and because they're not physically saying what they're feeling, but you know what they're feeling, um, you may start to like use that narrative and then create some type of like storyline in your mind. It's weird the way this is coming through, but it's almost like, imagine being like with your spouse or with um, your friend or something like that. And they're clearly like upset about something and whether it's with you or whatever let's say it's with you because that's kind of the way this is they're showing me let's say they're upset with you and this could be now or in the past and um you are like tapping into their feelings into their emotions of what's going on internally with them and their mental body and you're like okay i feel like you know this is something that i've done or like this is triggering something, something like that, right? And you start to get in your head. You start mentally like going over so many things and then you create this narrative, whether it is true or not, because you begin self-sabotaging. And so I want you to really, really, really do some like meditations or inner work around this, around this desire to need to like fill in the blanks because I know this can be really difficult when you're tapping into people's emotions and you're like this is how you're feeling but you're not telling me sometimes we can yes definitely tap in but other times we've tapped in a bit but then we kind of run with it like our ego our mind starts to like take stuff and like run it it's like becomes like a very sensitive type of energy if we aren't fully grounding ourselves and protecting our energy properly I hope this is making sense um, because I have a lot of like air energy here. We have the seven of swords, the five of swords. We have justice down and justice is um, Libra energy, which is also air. Um, I also feel like, you know, really once again, detaching um, is really going to be good for you. I feel like there may be a fear around, um, like creation or around um hmm, around creating like a solid foundation and i don't think this is a conscious fear it could be feels very much though like there's this sub self-limiting belief this like self-sabotaging belief of being able to create a solid foundation in some area of your life which could be what is affecting, like your root chakra may be what is creating this belief system within you. We have the 10 of cups as well. I feel like there might be some like family stuff here. Um, it could go back to childhood and it also could be stemming from like in your, your life now, like creating a family or creating um, 
creating a dynamic with your family where you're not tapping in all the time. Okay. Because I feel like this is, this is possibly happening for you and it's becoming overwhelming. It's like, it's too much for your brain. And that's why I think the grounding and um, like meditation is going to be really good for you because it's going to allow for you to really be able to like take a step back and be able to ground in your energy and enjoy where you are because it's not like it's good to be able to feel people's energy but it's not great when you're struggling with being able to keep it under control at times and you may not even realize that this is happening you may see things in your life where you're feeling really tired really upset all of a sudden like mood swings um stomach issues i'm getting um like just confusion or upset or whatever it is. And in those moments, that's when you put that boundary up and you try to decipher what am I feeling? What's going on here? Okay. And ask Archangel Raphael to come in. I know Archangel Raphael is for like healing, but um, he he can also help you in the mental field. Okay. So healing and soothing some of that. Um, And for those of you that are kind of going through some type of pain around family, whether it's now or in the past, like doing any type of inner child, inner teen, inner adult healing, things like that, um, ask Archangel Raphael to come in and in those moments of like real strong, like pain or self-sabotaging, like ask him to come in and soothe you and to hold you and to help some of this. I have my coffee here. Thanks for um, enjoying it with me. If you don't have a drink, you should go get one. Okay, press pause though. <laughs> okay, let's look. I'm going to look at some self-care stuff that we could work with um, here. I also feel maybe this pile you may um I don't know I feel like your emotions you may have a hard time sometimes like feeling them or you feel them too much (laughs) which is not a thing but I mean like um when we're in a place where our emotional body becomes our first reaction rather than like taking a step back taking a few deep breaths and saying okay what's really going on here if instead it's like immediately like angry or immediately crying or upset we may want to work a little bit there. I feel like the sacral chakra is coming through pretty strongly also. And both of those are obviously connected. I mean, all the chakras are connected, but if our root and sacral, the sacral is all about, about that, like water, the emotions, the feeling, um, it's ran by Scorpio, well, the water signs, but I always think of Scorpio when I think of the sacral chakra. Um, and it runs sex and also death. Okay. Um, it runs a lot of different things, but Scorpio is what I mean. Um, but the sacral chakra is all about that. So that's coming through too. So, um, working a bit, like, I feel like there's a healing around the emotional body and asking our King Raphael to come in and assist in that. We have power. It says own your power. Every storm brings a fresh new beginning. So for those of you that, um, feel like you are like this is not like I don't think I can do this spirit saying yes you can own your power own your magic own this version of you because it is powerful you are a strong healer you are a strong manifester you are a strong empath and I think I know this reading I've been talking about all the things like we do this you may struggle with this but it's because of the advice that this is supposed to be bringing Um, it's important for you to also know the power that you have and the beauty and the, like, and the divinity that comes with these gifts, with being a healer, with being an empath. Okay. Because being an empath is a beautiful gift. And when we don't have the tools though, it can be a little difficult, but what this is saying is like, you are so intuitive, so powerful, so empathic, so, um, magical that they're wanting you to really hold on to this tightly and see how you can begin to develop this even further or be able to rein it in a bit more. We have weight. It says honor your resistance. Sometimes no action is the best action at all or of all. (laughs) Um, Okay. 
so some of you may be feeling like um and this is kind of a side note this isn't really about your gifts but i just want to talk about it because it it feels important um if you're feeling like almost like i'm in a hurry um this might be just for one of two or you, two of you um like feeling like I'm behind or I need to get things done quicker. Spirit's saying like divine timing is real. And although that's difficult, it's really important to kind of step into. I heard this really cool metaphor. Um, I think it's a metaphor. I don't know. Anyways, um, <laughs> I heard this really cool thing where they were saying when you think about like manifesting and creating the life that you want, imagine that the the GPS is the universe, okay? And your spiritual team is driving, okay? The universe is driving, your spiritual team is driving, and you are able to put in the destination into the GPS, okay? So you're putting in the destination, you're putting where you want to go, and then the divine drives, and you have to kind of go along with the ride. And what she said when she was talking about this is this person on TikTok, I'm not sure her name, but when she was talking about this, she was like, so you have to stop being such a backseat driver <laughs> and like needing to know and needing things to happen right now. And when there's resistance, perhaps it's just not time or when there's resistance, maybe they're stopping to go to the bathroom on the side of the road and you're like, let's go, come on, we need to drive. And they're like, can you just chill out? I need to eat and take a nap. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and so it's really interesting to like think about it in that way, because I feel like those of you that are like, I don't feel like I can manifest quickly because I've been trying to manifest things and it hasn't happened or um, long-term things, things like that. And spirit's coming through to say like, it's coming. Um, but I do feel that this stuff that we're talking about today is really important for you to be focusing on, especially those of you that are trying to really manifest something um, big because you're in a place right now at times where you're really in your head Um you may be self-sabotaging yourself and you're feeling other people's projections and ideas about your life or you're taking old limiting beliefs and bringing them into your reality now. And it's keeping you from really being able to move forward. Um, and the divine is almost like, look, we are staying at this rest stop until we can get this all figured out. And it's totally okay. It doesn't matter how long we're going to get there. And that's all that matters. Um, and so it's important, and this is where free will comes in, right? Because you can choose to work on these things or you can choose to sit. And the divine is perfectly perfect, whichever way you decide to go. Your guides may nudge you in certain directions and inspire you in certain areas. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to choose to begin to shift your mindset, okay? Um, and so that feels like a really strong message for someone um, or all of you. If it resonates, beautiful. If it doesn't, I'm so sorry. Okay, release. Look at that. Have a good cry. Grief is the doorstep to your deepest self. And so this, once again, all about that emotional body, okay? It's time to allow yourself to release, allow yourself to feel your feelings, okay? Also, I feel like this could be around like um, those of you that like keep yourself from feeling your feelings, like in those moments, like just like, no, it's fine. I'm fine. Spirit saying, no, like, let it out. Let the cry out. It's okay. I feel like, you know, when you're in your head, it may be good to release. That might be the way that your, um, you know, mental body wants to let go is, is through releasing. Also, some of you, your superpower may be around your emotional body. Like, you're really in tune with it um, and feeling it. So we have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestic, Mystic, Teacher. So some of you may feel called to teaching certain things, um, teaching people, coaching people. Um, with that priestess, that's just more confirmation of the beauty that you have within yourself. Hold on, let me grab this card. Okay. Um, and also, this is talking about like really connecting in with people who are like-minded um, may be really good for you. So like joining like empath groups or like posting something like, you know, who identifies as an empath? Like, what do you do? What are your tips? Things like that might be really good to connect with people that are like you. Um, and then here we have the protection, cut the cords, um, call back your power and soul retrieval. So that is just perfect 
you know, confirmation of really surrounding yourself with boundaries energetically to allow this shift to take place, to, to, to release these people or emotions. And it's not like, you know, I was saying there might be two people in your life that really drain you. It's not that you have to get rid of them. Um, if you feel like you don't want to do that, it's, it's more of like, this is like a, almost like a test for you on how you can control your own emotions and feelings. Um, and how can you get to a place because these types of people aren't going to go away because you're a healer because your light is so bright they're going to be attracted to you it's just kind of the way it goes and sometimes we have to learn the hard way by being around people um that are toxic if they're toxic i would definitely suggest letting them go but i mean there may be people who have good intentions but they just are working through their own things and so it may be a test for you to especially if these are people you can't get rid of like a like a coworker or someone you have to see often things like that um <clears throat> this is a good time for you to learn how to control your own emotional body instead of saying oh that person drains me so bad no take responsibility of this version of you and um cut the cords call back your power okay and that was a little tough love of like take responsibility but i feel like that's really important um even for like me to hear you know like it's important that we understand that our emotions are our own and we are responsible for these gifts that we have and the more that we learn how to harness them and bring them in the more we can um or the more we continue with them the more we start to learn these types of things so we have akasha it says your guidance is divinely guided and i love this as like the last card because it just brings me back to that gps analogy <clears throat> of you're being guided just sit back do the things that you feel you need to do do the healing you need to do go within um you know keep your mind in the right place and follow the nudges, the inner nudges, and, and just follow your path, okay? So group one, I love this. I love your energy. I'm so excited for you. Um, let me know if this resonated down below or message me or whatever, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Let's go ahead and jump right in to your reading. So let's see what cards you have here. Okay, so we have Wisdom, Archangel, Metatron. Oh, oh my gosh, we have Metatron twice. Okay, listen, I love this. Pile number one, we had two cards as well, both Archangel Raphael, and I literally shuffled these like normal, like in whatever cards flew out is what I took. So I did not go through this deck or anything like that. Um, wow, that is so me. Okay, so we have Archangel Metatron coming through with Wisdom and also Divine Intelligence. So, <clears throat> sorry, hold on one second. Okay, sorry, I, I needed to cough. Anyways, okay, so Archangel Metatron um, is such a beautiful archangel, very powerful, um, very, very spiritual um, connection. So this to me means that you are a very spiritual, connected, intuitive being, okay? Whether you realize it or not, you, um, Archangel, um, Metatron teaches people like how to understand their spiritual nature and how to see the truth of who they are and connect in further with like their gifts and things like that. Um, a very powerful being and so are you. Um, with this wisdom, this tells me you have a lot of wisdom within you. You've been around a long time. Don't second guess yourself. Allow yourself to really, really tap into these gifts that you have. Um, they're coming through so strongly. And um, we also have like the diamond here. So I feel like you're really, you may be um, attracted to diamonds. Diamonds also are very, very energetically powerful. Not only are they beautiful, but they're, they're very energetically powerful. Um, <clears throat> also, Archangel Metatron talks about like the Akashic records and I'm getting that here with divine intelligence. So um, who you pile number two, you may be able to read the Akashic records, um, whether your own or other people's. Um, you have so much wisdom within you. I feel like you're someone who just knows things. Um, you get like intuitive downloads. You could be very psychic. Um, 
<clears throat> just very spiritually gifted. So if you're like, I don't have any of those gifts yet or whatever you do, they're just awakening now within you. So working with Archangel Metatron um, as you move forward would be a really, really beautiful thing. Um, really, really going within. Okay. You have a lot of wisdom within yourself. Your spiritual team is coming through super strongly to let you know of all of the like strength and gifts that you really hold. Um, it's truly incredible. So don't doubt yourself. Okay. I'm getting that here a little bit of doubt with, um, they're, they're kind of bringing me to this, like, lack in the solar plexus like you may get a lot of gut instincts that you don't trust um and so they're coming through to remind you of of this gift that you have um to be able to really tap in um in this way um you just know things okay but i don't know how to explain it more than that i get it because there are times that i also have that same gift of just like knowing and you don't know how or why and honestly i don't think we necessarily need to know it's just the fact of trusting um this version of us and this this part of us um this inner wisdom um you have information within you that you probably haven't even accessed yet okay i feel like a major past lives activation is coming through here like majorly um and with the akashic records like you definitely can tap into that for your own healing um you can do past life readings if you wanted you can you've probably tapped into many of your past lives whether you know it or not i also feel like dream time is a really really big time for you to get intuitive messages if you are dreaming um about specific things um meaning like specific like um what am i trying to say here like um uh like things that are like weird like not weird but like in different times like i don't know where i am but i like recognize these people or i should know like i feel like i know where i am but i wake up and i'm like what the heck was that that's you tapping into your kashic records okay that's you experiencing certain past lives pay attention to those dreams because um, they're giving you more information um, about your lifetime now to help you. All right. So with these cards in the last one, it kind of gave us some advice with this. Okay. So let's see what comes through here. So we have the well watcher. We have um, wisdom again is coming through the power of the divine. So you have wisdom and divine intelligence here, and then you have wisdom and power of the divine here. So once again, I mean, you just can't make this up. We also have card number seven. This is card 25, pi, five plus seven in numerology. I'm sorry, five plus two in numerology is seven. So we have two sevens down. Seven is a very spiritual number. Seven talks about, um, you may see sevens a lot, by the way, to confirm this reading from now on. Um, I feel like that is Metatron's way of just reminding you that he's around. So anytime you see a seven or double sevens, triple sevens, even like seven, one, seven, those types of things, that's um, him coming through to remind you of your power, to remind you of your gifts that are um, really awakening within you. In this card, we have this owl here. Owls are very much intuitive, wise beings um, or energies. So you may um, start seeing, um, owls as well in your reality i also am being drawn to this beautiful um, lion here so you may also be attached to um like uh, big cats um like seeing big cats whether it's lions or tigers things like that um is also um uh, an animal energy wanting to work with you with your gifts and things like that so calling in that energy um you're very very intuitive um, I feel like you might second guess yourself though. I do feel that because of this like false promises and survival. Um, you may have had times in your life where you were in survival mode for whatever reason, whether it was mentally, physically, emotionally, all of the above. Um, and it's important for you to understand the growth that came from those times, um, and not to beat yourself up or not to like think that it's a lack of intuition or a lack of help. It was almost to grow you and to evolve you in certain areas of your life. Um, and so I think that's really important to know as well. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see what else wants to come through here. Give me one sec. Um, okay, I feel like um, grounding yourself, being in nature is something that you really enjoy. If it's something you don't enjoy, I think it'd be something great to do. Oh, wow. Nice song. Hold on. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Look, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but look, it's a secret garden. That song came on. I have this on repeat, I thought. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Um, but anyways, the point of that is, is that I was just saying being out in nature. Um, so you may love to garden. Um, you may love to like work with herbs, things like that. You have this gift. Okay. It, it's kind of crazy, pal, too. Like I'm not trying to toot your horn here, but I am. Okay. Because you need to understand your power. <laughs> if you don't already know, you are so powerful. Literally, pile on two. Like, you guys are just amazing beings. And I just want you to hone in on this and know this and trust yourself. Um, you have so much intuitive insight around people and situations, around your life, around people's lives. And you may or may not want to use this gift for anyone. But the fact that you have it for yourself is such an advantage. It's such a beautiful gift to be able to hold on to. And so cherish it. Um, appreciate it, love it, and see how you can work with it more, okay? Asking Archangel Metatron, if you have, like, I keep going back to this, if you have visions of, like, seeing yourself in, like, different places, or I keep seeing you riding a horse, I don't know why, um, like, if you keep seeing these certain visions, um, Spirit is saying, like, we are tapping you into, or you are tapping into this divine intelligence into your Akashic records you are tapping into another version of you another timeline of you that is wanting to awaken in your reality now anything you've mastered and done in past lives are available to activate now um well whenever you're ready but what they're saying now is there's these versions of you that are really ready to activate um and so doing like some past life activations may be really good um, if you're watching this and you are interested in my, um, I, I did a meditation. It's a pre-recorded one. <clears throat> I think in my class last summer, um, where we, we tapped into the Akashic records. If you're interested in that, please comment down below because I'll upload it into this membership. So that way you can do it. Um, because you can go there, you can heal yourself, you can heal others. And if you were like, I have no idea how to even do that. Let me know. I'll, I'll, upload that. I'm happy to do that because I think that would be a really beautiful thing for you. And I think other people in the group would like it too, but I just want to know if that's something you want. Another thing that's coming through here for pile number two is, um, I just keep going back to this like survival mode or false promises. It's like this fear of things not manifesting or not coming true. Um, maybe based on things that have happened in the past. Um, and spirit is really wanting you, sorry, I'm trying to get my foot comfortable, but it's not really working. Um, spirit is wanting you to remember, um, that everything happens for purpose. And so maybe sitting down, tapping in and seeing like, okay, what have I learned? What are the lessons that I learned here? Um, where can I shift my expectations of my reality? where can I start to see more clearly in the areas that are showing themselves to me? I feel like there's certain things in your life pile too that are asking to change and evolve, um, but you're holding on really tightly. And they're saying that, you know, as you release some of this stuff, the sooner you'll be able to like, be able to download um, these higher versions of you or these higher um just these new versions of you, meaning out with the old and with the new. So if there's things in your life right now that are taking up your time that you know aren't serving you, how can you begin to let those go so that you can bring in these new things? I am actually being brought to my dream last night for some reason. Um, I don't know why, and I'm trying to figure it out because the dream was really confusing. Maybe they're just making a point of like, your dreams may seem really confusing, but there are actually certain archangels you can call upon to remember your dreams. I'm not getting, I can't remember off the top of my head, but Metatron is coming through to say like, let me know, like ask me and I'll discern your dreams for you. Okay. So that's coming through as well. 
And my dream last night was so weird. It was like, um, I don't know. The only thing I can remember really that's coming through is like parking. <laughs> it sounds so silly. Anyways, but the reason why I feel like that's coming through is it's like I kept moving parking spaces like constantly. <laughs> and I was like second guessing every single place that I would park. It was very weird. I don't know. Um, and with that, it's like, stop second guessing yourself. Okay. Because you intuitively know what's best. Obviously a parking spot is very different, but there's something about that there. Okay. I don't know. We're going to go with it. Okay. Let me take a drink of coffee. It's like the blueprint of your life and of your gifts is so special and magnetic is what they just said. Wow, that's powerful. Man, pile two. Hell yeah, I love this. Okay. Let's get some more info. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. You literally are coming into some seriously exciting stuff. Things that you have been hoping for and wishing for are coming into your reality at a quick rate, okay? At a quick rate. And so I want you to trust your intuition, trust your path. Um, if you've been feeling stuck or stagnant in any area of your life and you're like, I know it's coming, I can feel it, you're right. You are feeling it, you're not wrong. Um, you've just been learning lessons, okay? You've been learning some things here. We have three major arcanas and two um, minor arcanas and the two minor are, are nine of cups and the three of cups. So two water signs, very intuitive. Um, and the three of cups talks about celebration and the nine of cups talks about wish fulfillment. And so this is something to celebrate. This is a really beautiful time for you. And it's like such a strong message of like, keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Even if that means you're just resting right now, just keep doing what you're doing because things are falling into place really quickly. I know this isn't really about your gifts, but I feel like it's really important for you to hear, like, don't give up what you're imagining, what you're seeing, whether this is in your literal dream time or in your waking time, it is possible. Okay. And it will come to you. You just have to trust. Um, this is very random, but I also feel a lot of you have a strong connection to like Egyptian times. Okay. So maybe doing a little bit of um, research around that because I'm getting that from this card here and also from this one here. We have the pyramids in the back um, and things like that. So that's coming through really strongly. You have some divine intelligence around that era, that time period, that past life is really activating within you as well. Very, very spiritual pile here. The Empress. This is your creation. This is you getting ready to birth this idea. This is you in your divine feminine energy in the flow. Um, very much tapped into knowing your creation ability um, and your intuition. Okay, so if you're not here yet, it's coming. It's very much so coming and it's going to come to you in a way that you feel very fulfilled and very happy with the way that it's coming. Hold on. Okay, so we have the judgment card here. Look at that. That is you really being ready to release, okay? You really being in a place where it's like, you know what? I'm kind of done holding on so much and I'm allowing things to really move, okay? Um, this is you releasing an old version of you and calling in a new version of you. The judgment card also talks about kind of like a wake-up call. So you really looking at yourself and your life and saying, okay, this is working, this is not working. Um, those types of things as well. Um, judgment, literally, like if we're talking literally, um, is like, you know, when you stand in front of God or the universe and take a look at your entire life. And we kind of got that message earlier of like looking back to things that led you to like false promises or survival mode and to look at it with different, um, like th with the eyes of beauty of growth rather than like resentment or guilt or shame. Um, it's also reminding me of like the Akashic records of like all of these versions of you, all these different lifetimes, really tapping into those and seeing them for what they are. Um, that's a really beautiful thing as well. All right. For those of you that read cards, 
you can easily tap into your past life just by reading cards with the intention of doing so, okay? Not everyone, by the way, can tap into the Akashic Records. So um, it's a beautiful gift to be able to hold. Um, and I just love it. I love it so much. And I love that you have such, um, I feel like you're going to use this gift. Not only you might use it for other people, but a way that you can use it for yourself is really through healing, you know, going into the Akashic Records, doing a healing um, there and activation as well. Okay. The three of cups. And by the way, you don't have to go to the Akashic Records to get these activations. Okay. Just meditation. Um, intention is everything. So we have the three of cups. Um, like I said, that's about celebration. Sorry, I'm getting another message. <laughs> They're like giving me so many messages. Um, some of you may really also be drawn to like the planets and astrology. So this might be just for a few of you. So some of you are really drawn to like plants, nature, growing things, herbs, that type of stuff. And others of you may also have that, but you also may be really interested in astrology just to know and understand. And it's because you mastered that in a past life. So just know that. Okay. We have the justice card coming out. So this card actually came out in pile one as well. This talks about, um, you know, balance. Okay. So things are really balancing for you in your life. And everything that's happened up until this point was really to grow you and to shift you and to awaken you to these gifts within you. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to pull, so I didn't pull from this deck for pile one, but I feel called to do so here. So I am going to do that. One sec. Let me grab it. Yeah, you are, you have so many beings around you, helping you and assisting you. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Divine talents. Yes, you definitely have certain things about you that are very, very awakening, that are very, um, we have divine intelligence and divine talents. So like, I don't know how else to tell you. You are really gifted, very talented in many different ways. Um, earth healing. So this is saying like you have the ability to really heal um, aspects of you, especially around inner child. And then this family of light is just confirmation of the being surrounding you right now as you're really, really tapping into you and into your intuition, working with your family of light as well as you are tapping into these things. It's going to be really beneficial and beautiful for you. Um, as well. Okay, let's see. Let's move on to this other deck. I'm going to take these away. I just wanted to see which ones came out and that those are the ones. Okay, I'm going to pull from this deck next. I'm going to take these ones away. I think I want to make sure that I have enough room. We're going to look a little bit around your face. Okay. The crumbling, what are you holding on to? So remember, I was saying there are things in your life that are wanting to release so that you can awaken this other version of you, but you have to choose to do so. You have free will, right? Okay, align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Okay, and we have awakening. See, energetic upgrades, a new way of being integration. I can't make this shit up. I really can't. Literally, you are going through such a shift and change. Like if you were already tapped into your gifts, <clears throat> it's coming even more. So it, it really is beautiful. It really, really is. There's this version of you that is being released and there's a new version of you that is awakening. Um, and it's allowing for such a shift in the way that you approach your gifts, the way that you approach life, um, that you see life, you see why certain things happen the way that they did. Um, and it's allowing for you to really be able to understand yourself on a deeper level, understand the divine on a deeper level and be able to like 
trust these versions of you and these, these instincts. I feel like you just really, like you may really need to work a bit on like trusting yourself and trusting the divine and these things may also just happen okay like start to happen as you begin to make these different choices okay so we have independence oops sorry <laughs> let me just throw this at you independence it says decide for yourself exercise your right to choose um and so what, what were we just talking about like you have to use your free will to decide what um, you want to do what you want to shift, what you want to change in your life. Okay. And so this is saying you have the power to do so. <clears throat> and you're moving through such a beautiful transformation with these like butterfly wings. Um, we have peace. It says embrace your confusion, let there be peace and not knowing all of the answers. So maybe right now you're not quite sure where to shift or where to change, or you're not quite sure what's going on in your reality. Um, those types of things and spirits coming through really strongly to say like you know all will be revealed and in, in the right timing okay um we have revelation here at the top of the deck um it says the right path will reveal itself to you meaning the the right thing to do the right inspiration will come through you just have to trust yourself trust your intuition and allow yourself to continue to move forward okay and creativity remember the empress card that we had down this one like the creation okay um is coming through again here it says embrace your creativity delight in the mystery of your inner muse okay so trust yourself trust your intuition um moving from the heart space and allowing yourself to really tap in to these versions of you these uh, this these things that are awakening these powerful gifts that you have okay so pile two i hope that this helped you um and i will talk to you soon bye hello pile number three let's go ahead and jump right into your reading so we have these two cards here for you so we have archangel gabriel coming through and zafkiel it says compassion and grace okay so I love these cards because this really, you know, I'm getting a lot of earth angel vibes, okay, whether you resonate with that or not, um, very much someone, your gifts are really being able to see people with the light of love and compassion and grace and mercy, okay, like seeing them on a deeper level, so even if they are known to be not like the best person, right? Do maybe bad things um, and things like that. You definitely are someone that can see past that. You can see the depths, you can see their soul, okay? And so you can see through people's um, asleepness or the versions of them that, you know, aren't being shown in this reality right now, okay? Um, the thing that you may struggle with at times is, is having too much compassion in a way, um, where you may be someone who sees the good in everyone. And so when they, you know, when it's inevitable that they may mess up or do something that like goes against what you thought, um, it may kind of like hurt your feelings a lot you may come to a place where it's like, man, I really, you know, I was rooting for you and you messed it up. Okay. There's something about that. And so it's like, you always see the good. So then when people like maybe prove you wrong, um, it may be like a, a shot to the gut. And I want to remind you that it has nothing to do with like your read on people. It has everything to do with your gift of being able to see people for their soul. Um, I feel like you have a gift of helping others. Like you really just love helping people very much a soul of service. I'm getting like star seed vibes as well. So you may resonate with that. You may not, um, but really connected to the angelic realm to like the higher realms. Okay. Um, 
And you may be someone who kind of keeps this kind of stuff to yourself. So you may not even identify as someone who has gifts. I'm here to tell you that you do. Um, you may just experience them a little differently than others. Um, which everyone experiences their gifts differently, but there's something about your gifts that are very, very special and unique. And it's like, you're just such a loving person. Like, I feel like you're here on earth to really just help and hold specific light and be, you know, this compassionate, loving person that you are. You may at times feel like this place is really dark and hard um because of how much compassion you have for people or like the knowing that like these souls could be doing so much better um so like you may see like the hate in the world or the war or the the low vibrational energies of you know 3d and it may really sadden you so i would really recommend uh, because i feel like you're also very like an empath um I would recommend steering clear from things that bring your vibration down, meaning um, like watching the news or at least like keeping it at a small amount um, or like watching, you know, like murder shows or listening to murder podcasts, things like that. Um, they may be really interesting to you, right? Because you're like here very, I almost like, it feels like such an innocent an innocent energy not like that you, it's a bad thing it just feels very much just like okay I'm here on earth to help and so let me kind of like look into what's going on here and some of the things may really shock you okay so you may also really have a hard time with like I don't know watching videos of like fights or like just you know maybe animal like abuse may really like obviously affects you know every normal person I would say um but but there may be like it may be so intense for you that you just can't even look and so a big thing of advice here is to really protect your energy in those areas of like really knowing what affects you and what doesn't okay um so your gift is really like the gift of compassion and love like you can see past the 3d realm you can see past people's um day-to-day -day life you may see someone listen to them talk um, tap into their energy, whatever, and you just know things about them. You know things about their life. And it's because you have this higher understanding um, of, of, of humans and because you are not necessarily from here. You're here to help and to integrate and to evolve, okay? You may never use your gifts in a way that's like in a spiritual practice or in ways like that. You just being here is enough okay so know that as well like if you're like I feel like I need to do more you you don't you're doing great um but if you do feel called to do like spiritual practices and things like that that would be a beautiful avenue for you as well but know that that's not necessary um like with your gifts like you um it's just something about the way you carry yourself the way you see things the way you tap into things the way that you like you have a wise um like your words are very wise when you talk people listen okay um so that's that feels really strong okay um you also may be someone who has a lot of grace for people right which we talked about and so you may give a lot of like second fourth fifth sixth seventh chances <laughs> which is beautiful you have a gift of like forgiving and um being understanding the caution here is a reminder of your own mental health <laughs> as well as boundaries, okay? But you may not have any problems. Like energetically, you may be like, it's fine, it doesn't bother me. So you have to kind of use your own discernment on if it does bother you where just like you're constantly like feeling drained by people or disappointed by people, like giving them so many chances, you may need to shift your energy a bit and put up um, other boundaries. But if you're someone that's like, it doesn't bother me, I just forgive people so easily, then great. That's a part of your gift, okay? 
as long as you're feeling energetically okay and not putting yourself in like toxic situations, then I think it's a beautiful thing. Okay. You would be like the best and worst judge ever. <laughs> Meaning like a literal judge, like, okay, well, I know you did all these bad things, but I can see the good in you. So I'm going to give you less time. <laughs> and that's the other thing too. And I think I was, I can't remember which pile I was tapping into this. I think it was pile number one. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think it was pile number one. Like you just see people differently so like you may give people a lot of chances but it's also a reminder that sometimes a lot of times like people that are considered bad I don't like saying that but like that do things just over and over that's just like shitty things to do you still may have like this compassion for them but it's also a reminder that like they're they're living out their their lifetime right now like almost asleep right and so, yes, unconsciously, they have this version of them that is beautiful and in light, right? Because, of course, everyone does behind. Um, but if they're living in an unconscious state where they're just continuing to do bad things or treating you bad or people bad, it's just a reminder of protecting your energy and understanding the difference between having grace and compassion and love, forgiveness towards someone, and also balancing that with boundaries and your own free will okay I feel like you have like mother Mary like Jesus vibes like you're very much just like such a forgiving person which is beautiful just be careful I feel like you're very in tune with this though okay like me saying this you're like okay yeah totally that makes sense Oh my gosh. Another thing with you, you're one of your gifts. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, another one of your gifts is very much like you are such a light. You are such a bright light and such a loving being. Um, there may be times in your life where people that you surround yourself with um, I like literally my hand is so cold. I'm really dramatic, but I'm hitting it over this fire because <laughs> it's so cold. Anyways, um, people, you're literally a mirror to people because you hold such a high vibration and such a high light. Um, there's people maybe in your life that are very triggered by you. They may just like not like you for no reason. They may just like unfriend you or just like can't be around you almost or like when people just don't like you for no reason and you're like what the heck like I've never done anything to you like I've been so nice and like loving and compassionate and there for you and it's because your vibration it's just the way that you are your light um the vibration within you is like a mirror to people and sometimes it forces people to see parts of them. They don't even realize it's happening and you don't either. Now you do, now you'll know. Um, but it's like, when you say certain things, it like gives them this like, oh my gosh, like their shadow comes up. And so they're just like, whether they realize it or not, it then like becomes a projection. Like, I don't know, the energies just don't vibrate together. So if you have those moments where people very much are like, don't talk to you um or like they uh, like don't like you for some reason it's because of your light and it's it's not that you're doing anything wrong obviously unless you are but I'm not getting that I feel like this is like when those moments where it's like I literally have done nothing to this person and they they don't like me or they they have an issue or whatever and spirit's coming through to let you know it's just because your light and your vibration triggers those shadow sides of them that they're not prepared to look at and they don't understand what's going on okay um so know that as well um not everyone's gonna like you uh no matter how amazing you are and how sweet you are to them okay so don't let that get you down okay we have the web weaver so we have synchronicity, divine intelligence, and cause and effect. And divine intelligence came out in Pile 2. So if you were drawn to Pile 2, that might be a good one to watch as well. 
Um, but this is talking about your understanding. Like you really understand humanity. Okay. Like you're beginning to get it, but also it's very shocking to you. It's like, whoa, when this happens, this happens. Like when, when someone says this, this happens. When someone does this, this happens. It's like, you understand all things are connected on a higher level. Right. Um, meaning like that would be why you can see the light in people. Cause you see that all things are connected and it truly is connected back to source and to light. Um, but you're now beginning to maybe see the shadow side of the world and of people. Um, you may have been tapping into this for a little while now and, or you're beginning to, and it may be a little bit shocking to you. And that's why I say just protect your energy and like how much news you're watching, how much stuff you're watching. Like this pandemic this last year may have really affected you. Um, you may have really tapped into some, to like information or into like this deep understanding of humanity that maybe felt made you feel a little lost um, or feel a little helpless. Um, and spirit's really coming in to just encourage you and to remind you that the light always wins. Okay. Whatever, however that resonates for you, that just felt really strong. Like something about like COVID, like being put in like your house and not being able to leave, like you may have been like learning certain things or um, just like having a lot of downloads and understandings. Um, and because your energy is such a high vibration and you're here on earth, you just may, you're experiencing it differently. And so it may just be a little bit shocking at times. So once again, your grace and compassion overrides, um, but it doesn't mean that you don't have feelings. It doesn't mean that you don't, um, have sadness okay so I feel like because you are so in tune with people and the energies and like earth and humanity um that sometimes like when really negative things happen or low vibrational things you're just like oh my gosh like I can't believe this is even possible I can't believe people think like this or people do these types of things um so there's something about that as well the queen of light oh my gosh doesn't matter the gender but this is just perfect example of what we've been talking about. You are the queen of light. You are full of light, um, illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. And so you're very enlightened. You know things um, that a lot of other people don't know. You have a lot of wisdom within you that you're going to begin tapping into further. Um, with this illumination, you illuminate things you see things differently you see people differently you see situations differently um which allows you to really shift okay you're able to shift your emotions and your feelings okay we have discernment clear vision and details so um trust your discerning messages because you see so much of the light you may begin working a bit on like this discerning, okay? Like, okay, what is this person's true intentions here? Yeah, you're, you're ending a cycle though in your life. These tarot cards, by the way, I've been pulling, have mostly been talking about like things that are going on in your life right now. So it's kind of giving us just extra information, um, not necessarily around your gifts, but um, Look at that. We have two queens down. We have the queen of light, the queen of swords, and the queen of wands. Oops. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyways, I don't know why I'm saying sorry. <laughs> it, it, I literally paused, so you had no idea the, the timing that was gone. But anyways, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's something. Do you do that? Do you apologize a lot? <laughs> I do. Um, but we should stop. Don't apologize. Okay. For silly things, right? Okay. Anyways, so the world, there's a completion taking place in your reality right now, which is allowing you to shift in certain areas and begin putting yourself first. Ooh. Okay. That's important to talk about. This version of you that is so 
compassionate and loving and give so much grace to everyone and forgiveness to everyone, you may forget to do the same for yourself. Okay, this is getting deep. Um, and you're moving into a space of understanding the importance of putting you first, of putting you in a position to be able to fill your own cup. So that way you can, can continue to fill others without leaving yourself feeling drained or feeling upset or feeling stuck. Wow. So you're really putting yourself in a space of me, okay? Yes, I am appreciative of other people, right? Um, I understand other people's feelings and emotions and I can relate to them and I can feel them and I can be compassionate to them. Along with that, though, I can also understand the importance of keeping my own peace, my own sanity, and my own boundaries. Wow. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands underneath the Queen of Light. You truly are someone who thinks logically but you also have this version of you that just wants to come out and play. Okay. Um, in moments where you're feeling very serious or feeling very much like this is tough, this life is hard. There's no hope. Um, how are we ever going to be able to change things around here? Um, spirits coming through to remind you of why you're here to, to shine your light, to show your truth, to be authentically you. And when you do that, you open that for the rest of humanity to be able to do so. And when humanity begins to get these portals open, right, the more that we heal us and the more that we see us and love us and appreciate us, the more we allow for that same thing to begin and to happen um, in the world as well okay so a lot of light workers that are here are like oh my gosh like what is going on this is like i thought we were supposed to be moving quickly into a new world like you know things are really not happening that quickly like i don't really see the evidence here and spirit saying there is okay you are doing really beautiful work keep focusing on what's going on with you internally and as everyone does that it opens up the ability for more and more people to do that as you work on yourself as you focus on yourself it raises your vibration which then raises the vibration of many people around you okay you hold vibration for thousands of beings you hold the light for so many people you don't understand your true power and the true essence of your energy of who you are. And I'm telling you right now, that is who you are. And to own that and to, to hold on to that in a way that you may have never expected or maybe never thought was possible. Okay. Own your truth, own who you are. Don't be afraid to be and feel and do whatever it is to be you. I feel like you, one of your biggest gifts is that you care so much about other people. You, you care so much about helping, being of service that sometimes you get put on the back burner and spirits coming through to say, it's such a beautiful thing to do this. And just remember also how beautiful it is and important it is to, to take care of you at the same time. Okay. We have the five of cups and the five of swords. So fives are all about changes, okay? Shifts and changes. Um, big changes coming, okay? With the five of cups, where there has been like disappointment, and with the five of swords, when you've been a bit in your head, um, those are where things are really going to be changing in your life because you're going to start focusing on yourself and starting to see things differently, okay? Um, the five of cups in the regular tarot and like the Rider weight has three cups 
down spilled and he's like looking at the cups but he doesn't see that there's two cups that are upright and filled right behind him and so this is a reminder too of like when you're feeling a little bit lost it's like there's more available to you than maybe you see yet okay so know that as well okay let's pull some more cards All right, this card came out in pile number two. So we have the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Okay, so there may be things in your life that are coming up for you that are ready to be released and spirit saying, you know, what is it that you're holding on to and why? Okay, why are you holding on to this stuff? What is keeping you from being able to let go in certain areas? Look at this mirror, who or what is triggering you? So not only are you a mirror, right? But there may be things in your life that are holding up a mirror to you, um, to where you're being asked to go within, to look deeper internally on, okay, where is this coming from? Why am I feeling like this? That type of stuff. But that also is just confirmation of what we were tapping into earlier um, around, you know, where are we mirroring? What reflection are we getting here? We have the star mother. How can you mother yourself? So how can you, once again, put yourself first? How can you begin to love and encourage yourself um, in deeper ways, okay? How can you tap into that, like, self-care, self-love, putting yourself first? Um, and, and remember, too, I was like, I feel like I get, like, Mother Mary vibes. And this also, um, it, it's, it doesn't say that it's Mother Mary, but there's... Um, another card in the deck that talks about like Anna, the grandmother. Um, and it is like, um, yeah, anyways, the, the whole part of, of saying this is that you are very much um, like you're tapping into this like Mother Mary energy, mothering people. Um, Mother Mary definitely works really sh closely with you. Um, but it, there's also this lesson of, yes, I can be there for people, but how can I still continue to mother myself in this at the same time? And then we have soul family. So there's a lot of people in your reality, in your life that are here to connect with you and be with you. Um, it says call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So connecting with people that you feel resonate with you right now will be really helpful as well. A few more cards to finish off your reading. I keep getting a dove too is coming to mind. So however that resonates for you, but doves may be um, a way that you're reminded of this gift. You may start seeing doves in your reality. All right. Oops. Sorry. I have too many cards here. Look at that self-love hello care for your body self-love and self-acceptance is the ultimate act of self-care love that okay we have magnificence it says own your magnificence the world needs your brilliant and grace so once again owning who you are like focusing on you loving you oh my baby just woke up good thing we're just about done hold on one sec um here we have the clearing it says clear the clutter when in doubt throw it out so letting go of those things that just don't serve you anymore and blessings count your blessings a grateful heart attracts more love prosperity and joy so pile three those are your cards this is your reading i hope you enjoyed and i will talk to you soon bye